Are we live? I think we're live. Hello lovelies, how are you? <laughs> Happy Saturday. Lots of you here already. So again, I'm going to just remind if you are new, this is a live stream. If you have any buffering, my connection might be a little bit meh at the moment. Okay. Hello, <laughs> Wilson. Hi, Benita. Hi, Karen. Hi, Pat and Connie and Rebel, Kenny, lots of you. <laughs> I can't go all the way up, hold on. There is about a 15 second delay, I think. Let me just make sure I'm not like, you know, not kidding myself there and I am right. Hold on, yeah, 15 second. Okay, hello Pamela, hi April. Yeah, right, so Miss Mad over here decided that I'm gonna do this a little bit differently today. So it's kind of like a show and tell, but we're gonna literally test everything out. So, just gonna take you on a camera ride for a second, but you'll see I've got all the waters there, I've got my papers here, I've actually been really prepared and set everything out. These are just what I found, so I don't really have to do the true color of those. Um, they're the Colero paints, but we have got so many things to go through. Um, hi, Mona. Hi, Helly. <laughs> Hi Emma and everyone coming on, Lou, <laughs> how are you all, by the way, before I start? And then beside me, I've got uh, two, bo I've made up my cart and two boxes full. So we're actually going to go through everything. And what I thought about doing, um, I'm going to have to just move my microphone for a second, just so that it's out of my way, I can, I can see you. Hi, your honour. Hi, your fossil. <laughs> Ah, it's the first thing. Well, I like this paper for doing watercolour. Right, let me just show you kind of how I'm going to do this. So what I've done is divided my paper and I've done like Neos, Gelatos, Cotman's. I'm going to do it this way. And I thought what I'd do is do the true colour against, how did I say I was going to do this to myself? Hold on, my mind's gone blank. True colour to mixed out with water to blended with another colour to pencil on top on each strip. That's how we do it. And I'm just gonna just blanket use Prismacolors over and see how they lay down. Cause on some things like this, it might be a little bit, you know, uh, it might resist. So we're gonna have a look at like that. Hiya Meg, hi Caroline, hiya Momo. Hi everyone coming on in. I'm gonna just say a big blanket hello cause there's lots of you here already and I know I've missed people and it's completely unintentional. And then what I thought I'd do is probably use main brushes as opposed to a water brush, but I might swap on over here and there. Um, so I'm gonna use um, my uh, Squirrel Round 8, which is the one that I use on most things. Hi, you Jules. <laughs> Hi, Helen. Oh gosh, there's so many of you. Hello, my lovelies. Remember, if there's anything for me, stick it in big capital letters. I'd highly appreciate that so I can see you. Um, so that's how we're going to do it and I thought what I'd do is start off with the like bits and bobs and then move to the pencils and the pencils that I've got is the Albrecht Durer's Supra Colours, the Koh-i-Noor Mondulas, the Prismacolor Watercolours, the Graffy Tints and the Ink Tents pencils. I might be missing those, um, have I got them out? Oh yeah they're in there, it's okay. I think, I think, yeah. Um, so. The, what, that's how we're going to do it. So if I turn this round, I've actually got a double pager of things that we're going to go through. Then I thought maybe we could do the mark, like uh, the dual brush, because they're water-based ink, and the twine markers, but we might not get to them. We might just do the main stuff. Hello, Megan. Hiya, Debbie. Okay, <clears throat> next off, before I start, if you're not already aware, on Instagram there is a nice big body colour. Uh, called the Birds of Paradise Sagusa, and I love it. So many of you are joining. Hi, Pebbles. <laughs> and I started mine. I've been a good girl. I actually started, and this is where I've got to. I've actually done the birds first, and um, I'm I'm looking forward to doing the flowers. However, I didn't think very well, and there is a lot of leaves on here. So we'll see how I am by the end. I'm going to be leaved out, but I am done. I am doing it. <laughs> I really thought I'd be so behind, but I'm not. 
I honestly thought that I'm going to be the one that's letting my dad, like letting the team down, but <laughs> I finally started. Um, so there is this, it's in the Symphony of Cute Animals by uh, Agusa, Kanoko Agusa, and I really am enjoying this. And um, if you want to join, go on over to Instagram, it's all on over there. It looks amazing, everyone's like versions. I love it so much. So head on over and have a look. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you really is doing it as well. Wilson's done hers and um, quite a few people. Okay, so with that being said, I am using the, just to let you know, um, I'm using the Canson mixed media paper. It's A4 or in the US, I think that's letter size approximately. It is a silky surface, but it does take, as you can tell by the front, it does take um, water media really well. And this one actually goes through my printer without a problem. Thank you, my love. Hi, unicorn. Um, if Amazon Japan have it, I believe um, in the UK, if you're in the UK, just to let UK ladies know, um, stationary corner have it. I'll put the links in after. Um, yes, the page has a hashtag. It's called P uh, Birds of Paradise Agusa. Okay, so that's what we're using. And it's going to be fun, but it's going to be a lot of mess. So I'm not doing colour charts. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do like, I'll come in, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom you in. Um, I'll do the pu like pure colour, the mix with water colour the blended into another colour and then see how the pencil reacts to that. My print it, it um no I haven't had that problem, Amberly. Strangely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just using a masking tape for artist masking tape. I love this one, it's my favourite. Uh, and hold on, I'm just gonna I'm going to just stick it, sorry, I'm just trying to talk with that. I'm just going to stick the very top for the minute at the top there so it doesn't move. And I'm just going to stick the side at the bottom. Yeah, Amberly, sometimes I have had that problem with other things and on my regular card, but it's been very rare. Okay. Oh, what happened? Ah, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. That you lurk and do what you have to do. I'm so sorry. We're all sending our deepest hugs and sympathies. That is very sad. I'm very, very sorry, Jennifer. Hi, Adela. You do what you have to do, honey. If it's just being around people that's making you feel a little bit better today, then you know, do what you have to. But I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Okay. Okay, Kiritakis. So, first off, <laughs> I haven't got the Artesia brush pens, believe it or not. Um, I didn't feel the need to have them after these. These were gifted a long time back by lovely Kenny. These are gorgeous. So, I've got the 80 set. I believe there's a bigger set now. Um, so, we're going to test out what the true colour is. We're just going to pick random colour. And then I will test out what it looks like when it's mixed with water. And then we're going to do just a random Prismacolors on top um, at the end. I have my heat gun. Bear with me, guys. I'm just moving to get oh, my Prismas. I need my Prismas. Um, whoops. Okay. Because this is also good for people who... Let me just grab those a second. Um, you're thinking about getting something and you're not quite sure and you want to see them first does that make sense um so you know like i do that all the time i prefer to see something before i buy it okay so i'm gonna show you what they look like so a kurataki brush pen this is kind of like a shopping stream <laughs> yeah 90 so you can get open stock okay i'll have a look <laughs> not like i need to but i will <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Akira Taki looks like this. It is a real, it's called Zig Clean Color Real Brush. And the back will have the Kurataki and it will also have the 
um, oops, there we go. It will have the name there and the number. So when you're colour charting them, it makes it a lot easier. Um, so when you open it, it's one end. Uh, some of these brush pens have two ends. They have like a fine liner end and then a brush end. And these are a very fine detailed brush end. They are as well made for brush lettering, but people use them a lot to watercolour, especially in your books. They're really good. So I'm going to use a couple of greens. Um, the way that we're going to do this one. <laughs> Lozzy. I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> um, so let's grab just a couple of greens. So I've just picked out a few greens. I've picked out May green, marine green, light green and green. And the reason I've done that is just I just want to test them at the top. Okay, so let's zoom you in and let's make you focus back in, which would be very helpful with my camera. There you go. All right. So that's where we're going to just sort of, that's good on your screens, right? Nice and clear. Yeah. Okay. Um, right, so we'll start off with these. I have to roll my sleeves up. Now, first off, I'm just going to do a, a true colour. So I'll show you, like, how they lay down. So they're really highly pigmented, as you can see. Very pigmented. They're like a pure colour. So... You can see if you had them just down for detailing after you've done your watercolour work, how pigmented they're going to look. They're super pigmented. Hello, Ashley. And bright. And because of the brush end, you can get like the finest little, can you see, you can go thick, you can go thin to thick to thin. There's a lot of things you can do with the Kiritakis. In fact, I think they're quite versatile. So as you can see with a bright colour and a lay down, they're pure colour, they're really highly pigmented. So what will happen then if I start to um, lay it down first and bring water to it? So I'm just going to pick up my water brush and we're going to see how quick and easy they move on the paper and um, you know how quick they can sort of fade outwards. So they do that really, really well. As I said, they still keep a lot of colour to them and you can fade that into next to nothing, which is really good. So let me just do that. So can you see straight away just a really lovely, versatile brush pen with lots of colours. And I'll show you the packet of them as I've finished the little demo. But I think this is quite nice. I, I like these sort of things because I can shop through these kinds of things when I look at them and I'm, I'm put them in my wish list and I end up buying things that I shouldn't oh you want to see what I bought today am I gonna we're gonna swatch these Ooh. do you know what these are if I put them in the screen <laughs> have you got a clue I am so excited about these and then I also bought hmm I wonder who's responsible for this one <laughs> And then, <laughs> I also got a little pencil and pen order, which I'd ordered a few days ago, which is um, some Derwent Light Fast to make up the 100 and the other pen towels. Um, yeah, I've got a haul, I'm filming a haul after this, so don't worry, you'll, you'll be able to see everything in a haul that I'll film after the stream and after dinner, so I'll have dinner first. And then I will film a nice giant, it, don't forget this is like over the entire pandemic. Um, I didn't shop hardly at all and I've kind of got my Christmas stuff in now that I'd ordered. Um, so, <laughs> oh my goodness. So yes, we'll. Uh, you'll have a haul, uh, should be by the end of tomorrow. Okay, so back to Kurataki. So this is uh, the true colour. This is how you can use them like thick to thin. <laughs> yeah. And this is the um, mix with water. Now, if you wanted to mix two colours, could you do that straight on paper rather than have to mix on a palette? And I'd say you would be able to. So don't forget this is paper that is a lot better than... Um, 
your colour book paper. So I'm going to put them together and I'm going to see how they mix and how well they blend. And they blend pretty well. So you can definitely mix two on a page without having to um, do it on a palette. They mix really well on paper. Now if you were to grab your palette, of course, it would be that you would layer one. So we're going to go for May Green. And then we're also going to go for Marine Green. So we'll just go for those two. So you could come from a palette and you can dilute it right down. So you could do like diluted first add in a bit of marine green and you can dilute them right down until you build your colour up so you can kind of go this is the Canson Mixed Media so if I did that first and, and dried it you can then come in again and you have really nice water colour effects when you do it this way so you can then come in again uh, you can put a bit more water in your palette over here and you can dab it in and remember to dry in between otherwise you're going to end up you know with um, a lot of papers that were peel <clears throat> and I'll try and do the majority of the links I might not be able to do all of them after the stream hi Brian <laughs> Okay, and you can see, and then after that, you can kind of build up. So if you wanted to build up a bit more colour, you can go in again. And these are so worth every single bit that they are. You can do some really good paintings with these, or you could just use them for your colour books. It's totally up to you, but you can see they mix well on paper, but there's a lot more pigment. If you want to go from light to dark, or dark to light, or however you want to do it, you could do it off the palette, I would do that probably more so over going straight on paper, just because you've got a bit more control, in my belief, um, <laughs> did I just remind you of Mrs Doubtfire again, um, so you can definitely do more if you pick it up off a palette for instance, so they are fabulous now you know that the prismacolors work well over them because i've done them before so i'm going to come with the prismacolor over this one and we've done them in the tim jeff's we use the kirataki brush pens and then we use prismacolor so i'm just going to bring myself over a prismacolor pencil and we're going to see how well they go down they go down as if it, just a bit more tooth like it wasn't even there i'm just giving you an example here uh, let's see how black and white go over. Um, can you do highlights? Yep, highlights go over really well. And obviously, black will go over pretty much everything. So, they're a big thumbs up. They go, white goes over them really, really well. Pencil goes over them perfectly, and so does black. So, you can build up more if you do it off your palette. You can definitely go in straight with pure colour and blend you can do a right big washout and they look good if you go in with detail so say you were doing some forest stuff and you wanted to add a little bit more greens down you can go straight in you wouldn't have to like go to your palette you can go straight on in there and then blend that straight back out these are so versatile guys i love them love them and you can use them a lot as a mixed media piece so they look good they blend good they mix well and they layer up well. Hiya Becky. So it's lovely. Yeah, if you're wondering, I did show it in the beginning, but if you're obviously if you're just joining, you didn't see that. I am using the um Canson Mix Media. Um, and this is really good for uh watercolour. In my opinion, I've used it, I've never had a problem with it, and I've used it also for doing um markers, and that has worked well with that as well. So it's worked in both ways. So they're a big thumbs up. Hi, honey. See, how are you doing? So they are a really good um, all-rounder. And then if you want to see what they look like, I've got them upside down. Just They run better. They come in a pack. You get different sets. You can buy these in singles, um, so you don't have to go out and buy the huge entire set. Try them first. Try them first. You might not like them. Not everything that you have you're going to like or not everything you try you're going to like so <laughs> you bought them Benita that's so sweet <laughs> so
so as i said i will have the amazon uk links our lovely mods they have the amazon us links if you are desperate for a link um but they don't have to put the links in guys they're here just for the enjoyment as well okay next up we're going to go to the gansai tanby paints um, again i think i'm just going to go on the subject of green because green's a good color to sort of test out um okay so the next one gansai tanby paints look like this they come in a, I know to come up a little bit more, don't I? They come like this. They're like a long uh, box. And this is what they look like. I haven't used these in a long time. And I used to use these quite often. You need the smallest amount of pigment. The smallest. These are the colours. So it's in the order of the pans. And you get these, and I barely touch I'm not sure I just think they're completely different black brands but they do the same thing um but yes these are lovely and this one here is like a white this is a white gold which is more of a shimmer um I'll have to look that up though I think they're just a different brand but they're almost the same thing so we're gonna go with the pan now what I tend to do with a pan is I'll spray it to let it go so I just grab you can get a spray you always test with green yeah i think green is the most used coloring or most of the stuff uh, this is just the distress sprayer but you can use like one out of a dollar or a pound store and i'm just going to go for the greens here just because that's the ones i'm going to use leave them for two minutes just leave them for two minutes now you'll see how pigmented they are and i will barely touch the paint barely touch the paint so I'm going to grab my um, my water and I'm going to grab a brush for this one. And I'm going to dab it off to damp. If there's any questions or anything, um, do pop them in. I'll try and accommodate. I'm not, I said this in my, in my description, I'm not an expert. However, I do like to um, say if I know anything at all and I can show you. I can't tell you, I can show. So I've got some pigment on my brush. And these are so, I've barely touched that. It's like touching the surface. They're so pigmented. Um, and the only reason I've done that is because I wanted to show you, you know, how pigmented they are. They are crazy pigment. Let's go for a darker green. And these, I really like these. If these are so inexpensive, so they're really, really um, great. I love them. And uh, let's go for this colour here. So you can see, that's like a pure colour, right? No, these are not expensive. These are really, really good for your money. Really good for your money. Sorry about the uh, heat gun. Okay, so now we're going to do a fade out. So I'm barely going to put any on my on my brush. I'm going to touch a tiny amount and I'm going to just put a little bit down. Sorry about knocking the camera then. And I'm just going to fade that out a little bit. So you can add a little bit if you want and then just fade on out. And when the good thing is, is when that dries, you can, again, you can do what we did over here. We can like layer it up. Um, but if you wanted to add a little bit more, just dab it in and then wipe your brush and kind of just blend that outwards. But I wouldn't do that too many times on wet paper. Hi Candice! <laughs> but if you're into like water media at the moment and you want to try different things, you can definitely shop on this stream. By s this is the thing, I like to see things before I buy them, so you're welcome. Okay, then I'm going to do two colours together, but I'm going to do it quite pure. Uh, so I'm going to go for a dark green. Are you all okay with this string? Ah, oh, Jules, take care, my love. Have a good day. So I'm going to put like a pure colour there. And I'm going to put a pure colour next to it. So let's go for a lighter green. Like that. So let's see how they blend. Let's go for a wet brush. A little bit more water and let's blend that out and they blend really well so they are pretty good going for blend outs 
Now, if I did a layer up, how's that going to go? So we'll go for, let's go for a light green. So let's do that as quite a, a large, we're going to do a large area because we'll do pencil on top of this. So let's blend that right out. Let's dry that up. <laughs> Hi, Colour Me Calm with Hells. Um, okay, so if I dry that up, let's layer up now. So let's go for a slightly darker green. Let's go for this one. We haven't done this one. And this one's got nice uh, wet amount in there. So let's go for some of that in there. So I just want to darken it up a touch. So let's put a muddy green in there. And let's see how that layers onto a lighter green. All right, let's dry that out. Let's put a little bit lighter in there again. <laughs> well, you know, we're all in the middle of a pandemic. Let's, let's, uh, let's treat ourselves. Why not? I've done that today. I've got my bits in today. I'll do the wash uh, swatch with you if you like, if you want to see them. I'm going to go a bit lighter again. See, and we just see, oh, sorry, I'm going to have to bring you up a touch, guys, because I'm going to keep hitting you otherwise, because you're literally right where I am. Okay, so let's blend that right out. And they work really well, really well. Let's put a shimmer on top of that. Let's shimmer it out. And you can remember, we can blend another cut. Should we blend like a brown? Or uh, what can we blend into that? Hmm. We can maybe blend, let's get our palette and uh, let's blend a little bit of brown in there. So I'm just literally going to swab a little bit in there, get some water and let's just see how if we tried to blend like a foresty colour in there, if it will work or if it's going to be a bit too much. But you can pretty much do what you want. Sure, you know, watercolour is a bit more versatile because you can layer up and you can blend it out. And another thing what you can do is lift. Um, so you can make like a muddy colour if you want to. Yeah, that that's fine. Okay, so they, they work okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm in that mood at the moment. Like, why not? We had such a rubbish year last year. Okay, so if you were doing like a really earthy, muddy colour in a forest, that would work really really well okay so let's test the black white yeah let's try let's test our black and white okay white goes over that perfectly black is obviously always going to go over but we just want to see how vivid they are and then let's get a green um and i'm going to get a lime peel and i just want to see how a lime peel would go into that as well Okay, so again, no problem. There's no resistance. There's none. Sometimes they have like a plastic coating. Do you know what I mean? So it has like a, when you lay something down, it has like that plastic coating and it's really hard to, um, to layer anything on top of that. But that is going down without resistance. So there's no resistance on either of those. The white shows up probably a little bit more on the Kurotakis actually, but it does show up on this. Uh, your whole white might would be good. Do I ever use watercolour ground so you can use more? In terms of um, like a gesso, I've never done a gesso. Um, but yeah. So I'm still learning with watercolours. I've done paintings with them. If you see my paintings on Instagram, I do more of that. But in my books, I use them more as a base. Um, or I've used in the ink house, I've done something completely with water. Uh, that one's just watercolours. Hi, Amandy. So as you can see, a big thumbs up from all of that. They're all very pigmented. And if you wanted to know the colours again, this is your colours that you get in the entire set. So they're called Kurataki Ganzai Tambi and you get a beautiful amount of colours and you can mix them into a lot of other colours. So really nice and you can do a lot with them, very versatile. So again, another one. 
the next page we'll do some other colour I think we'll do greens on this side okay then we have the cosmic shimmers which lovely Lozzie hold on and these are like a pearlescent sorry I've got a really squeaky chair okay so cosmic shimmers are these ones these are the colours you get in them and they're very shimmery they're very much like a fine tech and you can use them probably on something as well so that's the colours that you get in this particular little set now if you give me a little while you're going to have to have a good few hours and um, probably by tomorrow this one is really good to lay over something we'll try and lay that over another thing um, these are really lovely so again we're going to do a true colour to a mix to a watered down oops hold on let's let's go for this hold on Oopsie. That's it. I always keep try and keep everything in packages because yeah it's better to do that um so let's go for a true color again I'm going to wet them I'm going to go for the golds on this one because we uh okay so you, with these types of paints you have to really give them time to work and wet them out so we're going to come down here and we're going to just put down a little bit to start with now don't forget these are going to be a bit different they're not they're a shimmer they're not going to be like a, a, a colour above they're a shimmer so you can have something you might have to go over a couple of times with if you want a big huge amount of colour to lay down but if you're willing to do that you'll get the payoff so oops it's put you out of one minute guys sorry it's put you out of focus um there we no no yeah there we go so i'll show you the shimmer after so you can go a few times um i just try and like thicken it up a bit i haven't got a lot of uh if this is if you want a true color by the way um i try and keep it nice and thick on my on my paintbrush so don't you just love that sound <laughs> i love that sound okay so then I'm going to go for another colour here and I might go for the red because I've just put water on that as well. So we'll see how bright that is. So they have this really nice um, shimmery tone to them like most metallics do. And that is another true colour. Hi Claire! <laughs> yeah you don't have much water now so that's two true colors so if we just show you the true color and then we're going to do a watered down so they're kind of true to how it would be so they've got a shimmery amount um and you can probably lay them over something if you wanted to we might try them over a bit of color pencil now i'm going to use a watered down amount so we're going to blend it out like we did up here so I'm going to put quite a large amount at the top and blend outwards. So I'm going to put a nice amount on my brush. I'm going to just wipe off and I'm going to bring some water down here and see how we fade out a little bit. So we need a bit of water obviously on our brush and we'll see how much of a difference that will make if we fade outwards and how much of a shimmer. I know it's like a wine red that one. So you can, you can fairly... It goes a little bit more duller, um, as you can tell, but you still got a shimmer in there. It's like a iridescent -y shimmer in there. So you can still definitely see it, but it does fade out quite a far amount. So you might, if you did want to, you might want to persevere and layer a little bit more and come outwards again. It's entirely up to you how you want to work them. Um, I quite like them pure, these types of colours. And I want to see how they work on top of the pencil in a minute for you, so... I prefer to do like the iridescent -y shimmers on top okay so that's that's gone out pretty well and it, it does go over really well okay let's mix two colors let's see how a mixture would be so I'm gonna go for this nice thick copper and I'll go for the um, we'll go for the gold again because gold is usually a favorite and let's see if you can mix two together and how that would look would it 
would it be worth it would it be worth the the whole thing or does it kind of cancel the other one out let's have a look it kind of looks cool the mix um they work great over color but we're going to try that in a second so they work really well as a mix you can mix them up and if you wanted to make that extra shimmery, you could get the other colour, the um, iridescent. So they've got like a mixture now. And we're going to just fade that out a little bit more. And we're going to dry that off. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, Cosmic Shimmer is the name. So they work really well as mixed. I think that's a cooler effect when they're mixed. Yeah, it's this one, Connie, um, Connie, Kenny, it's this one, can you see that, Cosmic Shimmer uh, Watercolour Paints, so they work really well together, don't they, I think they've got a nice shine on them, okay, now we're going to do, um, in a, like a palette, so I want to see how it would work in a palette, and then we can also, test it over a bit of colour pencil autofocus work with me <laughs> there we go okay so I'm going to mix them in a um, in a palette and go straight down um, okay let's go for this so let's mix some of that I'm going to mix a different colour here so I'm going to mix some in here and I want to see if I water it down what they look like so let's go for a little bit of that and a tiny bit more water Okay, so let's go straight from a palette on and see how that looks. Now, obviously it's going to be a lot more watered down than putting straight colour down. But it's still got the pearlescent effect. So bear with me. And we'll see how shimmery and shiny that part is. And don't forget, you can always add on top and we'll see if we can put white on top as well there we go okay so let me just lift that a minute so you can still see a large amount of shine on that more so when you put the pure color down less so when you put it from a palette so i'd probably just apply it straight i wouldn't bother with a palette on them uh, the others palettes fine uh, with this one i definitely say you wouldn't need a palette i think it looks better without i think you're much better without what do you, do you agree? All right, so then I want to put some colour pencil down. So let's grab, I'm going to grab red because we're doing the red here for a minute. And I'm going to, sorry, this is, it's because I'm close. There you go. Right. Um, so I'm going to put raspberry down a minute. Oh no, sorry, is that raspberry? Henna, henna, sorry. Oh, there's me thinking I know my pencils. Okay, and I'm going to pick up the, I'll show you it on the palette. So you see this one here where it's nice and sort of iridescent? I want to see how that looks over our colour pencil. So I'm going to pick up a decent amount of that on my brush with not as much water. And I just want to see how nice they go over. It will dull the colour down, I think, but I just want to see. If I was to do like a wing and underneath I had the pencil, so how it would look if I had it thick and how it would look if I had it thin, like a thin coating. Hi, Ali! So with a thick coating, it will dull my colour down, but it's really shiny. So with a thinner amount, let's try that. Um... Are you good with this string, guys? I think it's quite a good one to shop through. So, Okay, so let's get some of our iridescent in our palette. I think the iridescent's going to be better in the palette, right? And let's do like a nice sort of coating over instead. And you can always lift some and just leave it over. Hold on. Well, we're going to do the Paul Rubens as well, and the Collie Rose. 
so we're going to do them all don't worry we're covering everything okay so that one that you got shimmer over both i think if you're going to do um you wanted the true color then obviously you're going to have to do that out of the palette if you wanted something to dull a color down so it's in the background obviously your color's not going to be like a block like that but i'm just giving you an example that can go right on over now question does white and black go over I'm not sure on these because these have got a pearlescent, haven't they? But we're going to have a go. White goes over. Black is absolutely fine. Um, if you were to blend out with white. Yep. And colour pencil feels like it's going to go over this pretty fine. Yep. They don't even resist. I thought they might have resisted, but they don't. They don't resist at all. So... I would use these pure, so let's see the pure colour with a bit of gold, so I'm going to just get the gold, there's no resistance whatsoever, it, it goes over them, so you can put colour pencil over them as well, not like you'd want to because you want that shine, but I'm just saying if you wanted to, you've got the option, but um, yeah, there's no resistance, none, um, they're fine, I would do them as a pure colour though, like I do with the other metallics, I actually don't water them down at all. I just go straight in with like a thick amount. Um, so I think that that's probably best. Okay, we've got this one now, which you're going to go, what are they? It's one thing I'm guilty I've never actually used, ever. Um, and they are, I bought them for manga and anime. And actually the new Colouring Heaven has just come out. The collector's one and it's um let me show you it's a liquid watercolor and this is how pigmented they are they are so crazy colored so you get this is the set it's a pebibo pe and they're a liquid watercolor now the reason why i've not used this i don't know how to use them as of yet because they're so pigmented I need more practice with them that was all and I bought these for myself quite a while back now um, and now that Colouring Heaven's come out with this issue uh, which is like an anime I'm really tempted to get stuck in whereas before I was a bit scared I was still learning I was learning I was buying all the things and I was learning okay so this is what they look like they come with these little pipettes uh, which I think that's how you say them, don't laugh at me if they're not, which you can get some of the colour out of the uh, watercolour bottles, and this is how they look, so they on the side they have the name, and that's what they look like, they come in a set, I don't know if they're still available, um, but they are so highly pigmented, it is crazy, that is the colours, so what the one I think I'm going to have to use again is going to be... Um, I'm going to go for magenta here, I think, and the purple, just because they're close in colour and I can try and see how they work together. And I'll be learning this, I've never seen them before properly. Oh, I have, and I haven't. Um, or should we do the spring green? We'll do the spring green, I think. What do you think? Should we do the magenta? So this one looks like it's um, a dye rather than anything else, but you know how, that is that one. You'd never believe it, look. Okay, so they come in that set, hold on, and uh, I go for, I'm going to go for what I thought, magenta and purple, just because I can mix those two quite well. Um, well, I thought I wanted something fun for you guys for a Saturday, it's a Saturday. <laughs> yes, you can make an epic mess. Okay, so why I've got a palette, I'm going to make an epic mess. Um, so they go, they come in these little bottles and trust me, yes, an epic mess is what they're going to be. I need to burst the bubble there. So you don't need much. I've barely put anything in there. Just one little squeeze. Can you see how small that is? They, they've got an odour, these ones. They're quite strong. I'm just washing that out in the water. And I'm going to get myself, I've got to put that before I make a mess everywhere. This is from Amazon. But I don't know if they're still available. Um, and then I'm going to get this one as well, which is the purple. There is literally a tiny little amount. It's just one silly amount. And again, I'm going to wash that out in the 
in the water and do that straight away because they are I don't know if these are going to go through the page but we're going to work this out okay you ready so that is this can you see how small amounts I've put in there are you ready for this <laughs> these are so ridiculously pigmented guys so what I'll do is go with the uh, true color off the lid um, because you'll get a proper true color then Look, you get it out the lid and I'm gonna just go straight on in there they are like strong so that is the um, I think that's magenta yes yeah, magenta um, they're quite quite pigmented right and they would go so well in our new color in heaven so well and then we're going to also go for, oops, see, see, I, I shouldn't be trusted around things like this. And then we're going to go for the um, purple. And see again, you only need a little bit. It goes such a long way. And the, the more you put on, the darker it goes. They are crazy dark. Right, so now we're going to do the fade out test. Let's see how much pigment we need down to fade out. I don't think it's going to be a lot. What do you think? Okay. They're available. Woohoo! These are lovely. I've got to learn. And as I said, I'll show you the perfect issue to do with them. Doesn't the colour just get... Like, the colours are just amazing. And uh, you don't need a lot for one of those animes. They're very much bright and, and in your face, aren't they? Okay. So... As I said, if you look at the, the, the packaging, look at the hair. It's like purpley pink. And they give you such vibes of wanting to do a colour picture in those colours, doesn't it? So, and as I said, if you go to, on the, um, the new Colouring Heaven issue, it's all that type of art. So, yeah. Right. Next, we need to fade out. So, you need a bit of water. I'm going to bring my water over here. And we're going to go for the pink first. I'm only going to touch on the edge. And I'm going to wipe off. And I'm going to drag out some pigment. And I literally don't... I put the tiniest amount down. It is crazy how little you need of that. You need the tiniest one drop. One drop that will go a long way. So these will last you a lifetime. Um, but we want to see if they move. I'm going to do that in the purple now. So let's do the purple. Let's put our purple down. So I'm going to... Oops. Yeah, I've a loads of water. And you can make a massive wash with these. You're so right, Kenny. They they just go such a long way. And that's, um, you know... That's just the, the tiniest amount. Tiniest amount. So that's true color the i only dipped the very edge of that and look i've still got my whole amount in there you can make a big wash with that let's mix those colors now so we're going to go for how it will look if i get the pure so i'm going to add a little bit of water to the side here just in the side i'm going to add a little bit of water and i'm going to um go with the purple first and I just want to get some more water into that. And let's go with our pink. And they mix in. <laughs> They're so, so amazing. I, I need to, I'm feeling inspired to print out. Sorry, let me just get you in focus. I'm feeling inspired to print out one of the colour in heavens on this paper. And do one of them in these colours now. I think I'm going to. I think so. And then again, if I want to, you know add more you can do they they mix and then if I wanted to wash it like um, Con uh, Kenny said I'm gonna add a tiny bit in there to my this is just a wash with a stain of it and see that goes such a long way okay so they work perfectly they mix they wash that was just a wash at the end I just wanted to see can you see that in there that's just a mini wash 
it stains it just stains it doesn't do anything else it stains the water and before you know it you've got this high pigment of, of color if you wanted to go on top again you could just keep going it is so beautiful and let me get a bit more of that purple and let's just mix that together yep ah uh, they're perfect i think i'm going to do something with these um in that color in heaven after my a goose page hello angie <laughs> they're amazing oh my goodness i went why did i avoid them and do you know why it's because it was prior to me doing paintings that's why it was prior so i was scared of them okay so they work really well now quick test let's get a purple and i'm gonna get myself dark purple and i just want to see how yep perfect no resistance no problem um let's see a white and a black so a white that shows up really well doesn't it what about if we were to like if we did a galaxy background and you wanted to do spots in white you wouldn't need a you could do it in pencil perfect and then obviously a black would would not resist either yep perfect okay so they are, just to clarify, these ones are the Pabibo, if you want to take a screenshot, Pabibo Color X, and they come in a little set of 10 20 ml bottles. That's the back of the packaging. So you have white, vermilion, purple, spring green, raw sienna, primary yellow, magenta, cyan, Mars orange, and ivory black. Uh, the paper, honey, is the Canson Mixed Media, whoopsie, um, the Canson one, Mixed Media, it's about £9 on our Amazon, and it comes with the um, three, is it three of these? Three pipettes, although I bought another pack for like £4, and I've got a pack of 100 so they'll go a long way, and if you wanted to see the true colour of all of them, that is the set, just so you know, while I put these back in the pack, um, so that is that set. So they're really, really worth their money. I think I picked these up at the time for about, no, do you know, keep an eye on them, put them in your basket, uh, put them in your wish list because they go down. I got these for about £16. They were cheap at the time. Cheap. So keep an eye on them. They go down in price. Um, so they are the Colorex Pebibo. Pebibo? <laughs> I don't know how you say that. Is it Pebibo? Pebio, Pebio, Pebio maybe, um, and they were they were cheap for me, so keep an eye on them. Okay, what's next up? We're up to Artesia pans. Now I've used these in a demo, so I know that they're fine. Whoops! And these came. I was given these um, by Artesia to review. I've used these in a demo, and I've used these in a couple of coloring books, and they've worked perfect. Um, the only downside, and I did moan at the time to myself, is they do not have a white, um, as you can see. And it, it really, really like threw me off because I wanted to uh, have a white to mix in, especially when I was doing certain tones and hues, and they weren't there. So this is the colors that you get in the Artasia set. You get violet, magenta, deep red, amaranth, scarlet red, cadmium light red, saffron orange, so you get two oranges, golden yellow this one's a lovely yellow it's like an ochre and it goes through now there is a couple of greens um again i would have liked a few more greens there seems to be a ton of blues like there's a whole if you go from sort of here there is a ton of blues it's quite a few of the um yellows if you add in the ochre yellows but pebibo thank you <laughs> um I do wish they had a couple of more greens and definitely a white, just my own, um, you know, preference. Uh, but this is what they look like. And again, a little goes a long way. And I find that with all of these sets, uh, in my experience, they are quite good for the money. I'm just going to put you on a screen for a second and I will be like a minute. I just need to, uh, grab some clean water um, I 
Ah, uh, yeah, just have it. Keep an eye on things. They do go up and down in prices. Okay, just bear with me, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to quickly run to get some clean water. I've got clean water now. Okay, so we're going to do the Artesia pans. Um, I'm just looking at... Yeah, I use white gouache as well, Angie. I must admit. I've never used the DH Martins. Are they good, Alison? Yeah, there's so many whites. Um, I do use white gouache. I use the Winsor & Newton Art white gouache. I love the Winsor & Newton one. Okay, um, well, it's going to be quite a long stream, I think. So we're going to come down to the pans. And again, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do like a pure colour. Uh, we'll do greens. Um, let's go for that. There, that's it. Uh, we'll do the greens, I think. And we'll stick with greens for a minute. So I'm just going to do like a pure colour with not much water. And these are so worth the money. Yeah, so do I, so do I. The most used is my Winston Newton Cotman's, I must admit, just because I learnt to paint with them. And um, that's what I did my Nemo fish, I've done my landscape paintings with. Um, I've gifted them all out, so I can't show you. I can show you pictures of them, but I can't show you the actual paintings because I've gifted them. Mum's got one, she's got my lion. My tiger with the Albert Dura was gifted to Desiree. I've got a few, they're all gifted. Um, so I can't show them, but... They are amazing, <laughs> amazing. But yeah, keep an eye. If things aren't currently, uh, you know, a good price, the pandemic might also affect stuff. Um, just keep an eye on things because I got the last set, these ones, the watercolour ones, the Pebibo. <laughs> um, they were £18, £17. They were no more than that, I remember. Because I thought they looked great and I thought, oh, is that how much they are? I'm going to get them. And lo and behold, like you say, they've gone up. Okay, so I'm going to also do some watered down. Uh, so I'm going to go for that colour first. I'm going to add a bit of water and I'm going to fade it out to see how nice they fade. They come off the paper really well. Uh, like they don't, they're not hard to move at all. Um, they're like, a, they're just so easy. They're really easy. I actually think these are great for their money. Um, I haven't got the watercolour pencils, but I have got the pans. And if you're willing to have some perseverance with them, they both work the same way. It's just one's in a pencil form, one's in a you know a liquid with a brush form in a way. Yeah, I'm using Canson. What's a? Uh, I'm using the Canson mixed media. Although my favourite one is the Archers. Uh, the hot press and cold press, both of them. But I'm using the Canson Mixed Media, which is what I use for colouring pages, if I'm going to use for watercolours. Hi, Groon. Hi, Kirsty. However, um, the arches will not go through. This one goes through my printer without jamming. So that's why I like this one. It's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to mix together. Um, we're going to mix now. So I'm going to get myself the light. And we're going to get the dark. We're going to go for a different dark, I think. 
and we're going to see how well they mix like without without uh, much hesitation so I had quite a lot of water in there then that's okay uh, let's grab whilst you've got a lot of water in there you can actually dab in some more and, and drag um, so we're going to mix a couple up and see how that goes they mix really well as you can see no issues uh, this is just a mixed media, it is for watercolours, yeah, it's for everything, you can use pencils, you can use paint, you can use oil pastels, you can use pastels, you can pretty much use anything on this paper, you can use markers, you name it, it goes down. Okay, so you can make things look quite muddy but they mix, um, so if you were to go in again, you could go on top again and you could like fade outwards, it's totally up to you but they mix really well and you can lift and that's another thing. Get, if you need to lift any colour up, get your water brush and literally you can lift up. If you go with a clean water brush and just no water, hardly any water in it, you can like lift. I don't know if you can see that, but it's lifted a lot of pigment up. So you can do that. Sorry about that. I was just showing you. Okay, now let's see our... I've got some water there. Um, let's see our pencils on top. I'll have to do the pencil on top in a second. Let me just do a little bit more here at the side. Sorry, because I lifted up all that pigment to show you. Yeah, if you ever make a mistake and you need to lift up colour, um, sorry, let me just put some more pigment because uh, I need to, <laughs> I need to uh, do the white and black and stuff on it. So yeah, that work, that they work really well. They work really well. We're back to colouring on Tuesday. We're just doing a bit of a test out stream with all the water media. I'll have to speed my little self up over here because I'm nowhere near done. Um, okay, so let's go for black and white like I have been, see how they are on top. So white, hmm, that is dry. Nope, they're resisting a little bit more, aren't they? Let's just see. The black goes on. It is a bit resistant. Okay, just to let you know, these have like a plastic coating. Um, they are resisting a bit, but you have to have a bit of a heavier hand. Yeah, they don't want the white. So, just me. Yeah, no, don't like the white. They do not like the white. So, they seem to be, let me try a green. They seem to be fine with other colours. Uh, let me have a look. Yep, yeah, it's just the white. White won't go on, so the white is a no-no. So we know that, so white is a no. It doesn't want to know the white. <laughs> so apart from that, everything else is fine. Uh, but it does not, not, I've never tried, so you'd have to use white gouache. We'll not use white pencil on that one. Um, but oh well. That's fine, we're, we're, you know, how many have we done so far? One, two, three, four... Four out of five is not bad, is it? So the rest of it's fine. Um, downsize doesn't have a white. Upside is that they're nice and cheap and cheerful. But yep, yeah, apart from that, pretty happy with them. I've used them. No problem with them. Okay, next up we have the Jane Davenport sets. Now I've got them all, but I'm only going to do, hi Megan, I'm only going to do one set. Uh, so this is what the Jane Davenports look like. They are a little tin. I love these. I use these so often, as you can see. <laughs> I love the Jane Davenports so much. It's unbelievable. Okay, so these are one of my go-tos as well as the Windsor and Newton Cotman's. I love these. Um, these are amazing. Um, I'll have to try that after. I haven't got them out, but I'll have to try that after. Dream. Okay, so these are... I haven't actually done the swatch of these on here yet because I, I messed up the order. <laughs> but I did have a swatch and I'll show you. Just bear with me. <laughs> so... This set, I think, is the... What set is this? Um, this is the Glitz C palette. Let me see if I can find them. Hold on, I have got swatches. 
I think I put them out for you guys so I didn't lose them. Um, yes, 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 yes. I am on the ball today for a change. <laughs> I am on the ball. <laughs> they're a different brand. They're Jane Davenport. They're brilliant. So this is the Glitzy palette. And this is the colours you get in the Glitzy. I'm on the ball. What's going on? <laughs> And you get such amazing colours. And again, so pigmented. Amazing. Love them. But I lost the order. So I need to reorder them like, and, and stick them in and go by that. So I, I completely like messed that up. So I had to do it on my <laughs> I had to do it on my own card. Okay, so this is the glitzy palette. There is the bright set, just to show you. So there's three sets. Um and then there is the neutral set, which is more skin tone and more of a like natural toned uh, palette in there. So that's the neutral, that's the bright, so you know. And then this one is the um, glitzy, which is my personal favourite. I love them, but this is my personal favourite. Okay, so, hey Dee. So we're going to use greens because greens, there is a lot of greens in this and uh, they're really nice like deep greens and I love them. I've used, I use these in the Jasmine Beckett's a lot, um, this particular set. So again, just activate with a little bit of water. Let's go for that one. And if you're thinking about Jane Davenport's and you are a watercolour person, like you love the watercolour side of things, I would recommend them. Um, love them. Um, so, that should be okay now, shouldn't it? So I'm going to go for true colour. Like this is with hardly any water in. So you can see how deep and vibrant they are. <laughs> no, never be sorry. Life comes first. I say this all the time. Okay, and then see how dark and pigmented they are. You barely need anything. And let's just go for another green because they're so beautiful and you need to see them. Um, oh, that was the same one, wasn't it? About that one. Did I do that one? I can't even remember. No. Okay. So that's how beautifully pigmented they are. They're so, so amazing. I can't praise these watercolour sets enough. If you want a small tin that's not too expensive, like between the £20 mark, uh, £22 mark, the Jane Davenport's are going to win, and Windsor and Newton's, Windsor and Newton Cotman's are going to win as well. Right, so... That's how pigmented without being watered down they are. Don't forget I'm not doing hardly any of this off the palette. I'm just doing it, you know. I use the palettes as you can see and I mix a lot. So I'm going to do like a little bit here. And I'm not, you know, I'm going to water this down. So I'm going to put more water on my brush. And you can see how lovely they go down. So again, you're going to have a little bit. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of water on my brush and I'm going to fade that outwards. So the fade out is gorgeous on them as well. I just love them so much. Um, so they're perfect in every way. <laughs> in every way. <laughs> okay, let's mix two together. So we're going to do a lighter tone. Um, let's go for some water. Let's go for this one. So let's mix this amount and let's mix a darker one with another darker one down and let's see how they work. So see how nice and easy they transition. They're just beautiful, aren't they? They mix so well. Yeah, beautiful in every way. <laughs> Practically perfect in every way. <laughs> and then we're going to test out... You can mix them on a palette as well, obviously. 
so if you've got like if you want to reactivate this you can uh, so that's why I leave it on there so like if I wanted to reactivate this color you know you can go in again you can mix it out with some browns you know you can do all of that it's amazing I love it. and then um, we're going to test out white just see how perfect they are they are my top one of my tops look look no problem everything wants to work on them because they just I'm sure Mary Poppins must have come up with a recipe uh, and then you know your colors go on top without a problem you've got no issues with them hey Hedwig so out of them so far the Kurataki brush pens are look let me show you on a on a hole okay so we know these are a great one to blend so they, they all are the only one that does not like the white if you wanted to use white is the um artasias but they just just look so if you want to see the glitzy palette it's that one and they come in those little tins as well which are cute um let's see and this is the other one this is the neutral i think yeah so that's the neutral and the brights are hey christine how are you doing and this is this one oh, i'm going to try and get them all in the screen for you oh okay so that's what these look like oh god they are so lovely they do come out just because they're in my uh can't get them rolled around so they're the brights they're the neutrals and my most use is obviously the glitzy um they do come with your mixing palettes here if you want to use them i i do um i don't mind leaving the mess either so she is she's doing watercolor recipes so yeah they are the other ones that i was talking to you about which is the the neutral set so you can see those and then this is your glitzy palette which is there so they are a big thumbs up from me big thumbs up has anyone got them does anyone like them is any other people uh with me on this one i hope you are <laughs> okay next up what's next the prima now i've only got one set of these which i'm fine about i don't want any more i've got too many others that i i use so okay so this is the prima tin now prima is the prima marketing there is lots of them there is i wanted this one because it's more earthy tones um <laughs> I'm only here to aid if you want. I'm not here to influence if you can't. That's how I look at it. Okay, so I've got the um, the terrain set, which is more earthy tones, um, and it's this these colours here. Um, so they're all greens mostly, which is going to come in perfect, and they're like muted greens, which yeah. Okay, so. There is lots of different sets you can get. Pastels, you can get metallics, you can get so many. Yeah, Jane Davenport stuff is it is very well made. Um, so I'm gonna go for some of the greens. Now I'm gonna go for a light green here as well. I'm just gonna move the camera, guys. So sorry. Um, because I'm gonna hit it. You can't have a live stream without a few technical problems, whether you bash something, drop something, or something doesn't stay in focus. It just doesn't happen. Okay, so we're going to go for this really minty green, which is, yeah, beautiful. And again, they very much Jane Davenport-ish, so they're really nice and bright. Um, then I'm going to go for a another muted green. These ones in this set are so beautiful. They're more, oh, they're just stunning. I've never used the Washi Allison, <laughs> never. Um, so they are just some of the greens that you can see with pure. Yes, these are such amazing greens in this set. And if you're doing like, um, if you're learning to paint, a lot of the paintings are based on nature. 
um, you don't have to do nature but that's what we usually start off with like landscapes etc um, so that's the reason why I got this one I, do, I don't want any of the others you can get the Odyssey set which is all to do with um, ocean uh, you can get metallics you can get uh, skin tones you can get woodland you can get so many others so just go with what is suited to you you know it's uh it's all to do with what your preferences are my preferences if i'm learning to paint is, is going to be landscapes and animals okay so i'm going to fade out a bit and see how they are now these very much feel like the jane Dav oh i've got a little bit of pink there um <laughs> these very much feel like jane davenports very much um so they're pr i think they're pretty much you know made in the same sort of manner um i'm curious to know whether or not she uses something similar or the same makers of but they're very similar they fade out really well yeah these greens are lovely look at the greens in them kenny they are like more of a muted tone they're really lovely okay then we're going to mix two, um, so we'll mix a light and a, like a light and a mid, I think. So we've got this really nice like yellow green here, which I'm going to go for. Um, so we'll go for some of that down. I just want to see something, and then we're going to go for that Yoda green. <laughs> You've named it Yoda green now, and we'll see how those two merge. They mix really well, don't they? So um, you can mix these on a tin as well. And let's go for a bit more of that yellow green. So that's two different types of greens there. And then if you really wanted to, when that's dry, you can build up a bit with some other greens in there. You know, but you got I'd dry in between before doing that. I'm just showing for the demo. They work really well. Terrain, yep. So those two work really well. And if I dry that, let's dry that and let's build up a little bit right let's go for sorry about the um, constant like heat gunning let's go for some fade out on that on top let's fade out a bit let's go for some of the yellow green in there and don't forget you can make splodgy backgrounds with watercolours um, it's it's catered to you really yeah it's catered completely for you right, I'm just having a little look this is the set that I would use the most that's why the only reason I've got this one only and then imagine you were going in detailing with that um, and you wanted to add like your leaves and stuff so you had leaves in that you know you would totally be able to sort of go on top I'm just giving you examples it depends on what you're colouring doesn't it um, you can mix on your palette and then come in yeah it's totally up to you and then you can go pure colour to nothing it's fade out you can do a lot with watercolours okay so we know that they work really well we know we do. Okay, so let's do. Hmm. Let's do our white and black. Yeah, you've just spelled it. <laughs> okay, so let's go for white. Perfect. Look. Look how much that goes on top. Oh, hold on. That's not dry. Okay, that would help wouldn't it let that go cold yep let the white goes on perfect obviously black is going to be okay yep yep perfect right let's try it on that now sorry it was just uh yeah okay they're like the jane davenports um they are fine no problem and that is the terrain set and it's just more of a natural palette. Take care, Robin. Um, just my preference. 
it's uh, more of a natural palette so it's got those sort of colours in there and it's by Prima Confections and it's all those lovely greens so that's um, a big thumbs up okay next up let's go for our these are the oil pantel pastels now they're not technically watercolor but what they are is water soluble so you can use them as such now I, you know me i avoided these for years um so just to give you a heads up if you have got these in your collection i avoided these for so many years it was crazy but they can also be used as a watercolor and these are super budget friendly and if you don't want to you you know if you don't want to use big products and you don't want to really get into watercolors but you want to just dibble dabble you can try something like this so we're going to come down here and i'm going to use the true color so obviously they're going to be oily they're quite um oily you can smudge it in with your finger as well so that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to go for a, another green, which is more like a, a moss green. You get paper stamp, you get a cotton bud, anything like that. Um, and I'm going to go for the other very light minty green, just like that. Okay, so these are oil pastels. So technically they're not a watercolour uh, water product, but they are water soluble. So I'm going to get myself my board. Or you can use the middle actually. Let's, let's go for this. I'm going to use the middle um, and I'm going to focus you back in because my my camera wants to focus you out, which is so rude. Okay. And we're going to do watered down. Um, so we're going to go for a watered down amount. So I'm going to grab my water and I'm going to see how easily this moves and if it moves. I don't know if it's going to move on the paper. I don't think that's going to move on the paper. So this is a good test. Um, I don't think it moves on the paper. Look, it's not budging. So we're going to have to... So it won't move if you put it direct. But if we do it from a palette... Will it move? No. These are not water soluble. I thought they were what it says water soluble on them okay scrap that guys i don't think my ones are some of them are hold on let me see no they're not then my ones aren't so water soluble shannon shannon's are mine aren't <laughs> okay scrap that guys scrap it scrap it it's not water soluble so that was me getting that wrong they're not water soluble. Some of them are, some of them aren't. No, mine didn't do it either. So my, me and Connie have got the ones that aren't. I think you can get ones that are. Have a look. There are ones that, yeah. <laughs> uh, there are oil pastels that are. Ours aren't. Me and Connie got the, the bad luck. We didn't get water soluble ones. Uh, never mind. Okay. Derwent Ink Tense Pan Set. <laughs> Mine and Connie's are like, nope, nope, and nope. <laughs> oh, gosh, never mind. Look at your packaging. Some of them are. That was me not knowing much about that one. Hey, you been? Yeah, mine and Connie's are not. That's good to know. Okay. So scrap that one. Let's go for okay. Let's let's go for the dough and ink tents then. Okay, these are brand new. You know, I just bought these. The Munyo ones are water soluble. Lovely. Okay, so this is the ink tents pan travel set, and they are the ink tents. And um, you know, with ink tents, that is not moving once it's dried. So, just a heads up. Yeah, that's fine. I know now. Me and Connie are in the non-water soluble club. So, ignore that one. It's a mess, but don't worry about it. Okay, so let's go for a true colour. 
and these are quite dark and as I said you know with these these do not move once they dry um, they're quite dark quite deep but once they dry they're not going to budge usually because ink they're ink yeah this is the second one this is number two okay so let's just drying it off to see the true colour and I'm going to just put it to the test and see if it will budge but I'm pretty sure like it says yeah it's not going to so it really doesn't once, once it's down it's down it's down for life okay so let's go for a little bit and let's, we've got to be quick in working with this and fade it out so you've got to be really quick because with the ink tents I wouldn't even go straight on the paper because you know why once you put that down you're not budging it so that's a good little like tip to remember on this so I would go on here um, I'd go up here and I'd do it from that I'd do that and fade it outwards I would not do it on um, I wouldn't do it straight on the paper because it's not going to budge yeah it's not budging so just another little tip that we've learned sorry I'm just making a mess at the bottom here um, if you put look see where I've put that on the paper and then moved it can you see it's like stayed so if you're going to use the ink tents I would use it on a palette uh, it's not going to budge that's not budging so go straight on a palette and do it from that now they do mix really well just to let you that you know that on um, let you know on that one so if you mix the two together um, that would work really well um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't I'd, I'd be quite quick in how I'm using that I'm just using quite a lot of water for the minute because it's just my test page um, yeah I'm it's it's not like watercolor so just a heads up if you're going to use this this is just two colors together you got to work quick with these guys and obviously don't use the same amount of water as I'm using uh, because I'm using this on a watercolor paper if you're doing this in a regular color book it you're going to have to work a lot quicker than I so that's just a heads up on that one be quick and also do it off a palette rather than on the paper itself unless you're okay with it not budging because it's not going to act like a watercolour does so I'm just going to see if I can mix something into that uh, while it's dry let's just go for some see they're beautiful colours and they're so vivid and they're amazing they're just exactly like the pencils but you have to be so quick on that okay so different how they act all together you've got to be really quick and they don't move so that's just uh, a quick tip with them they're not like a regular watercolor at all and if it's something that you're going into and you're thinking straight away what one to go for I probably wouldn't go for the ink tense pan set until you've got used to watercolors just because they don't they don't want to budge okay let's check the white because this is bone dry um, white on ink tents isn't very well isn't very good uh, so that's another downside I suppose so I wouldn't bother putting a white pencil you can use white paint and the pencils work over them and there's no resistance however the white doesn't work it muddies out so it's not like the others for instance like these the white goes over them really well um, you'd be better off with a white paint pen like a Posca and something like that because I think the white pencil just yeah it's 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 just moving moving pigment so for me they're not a starter one at all they're more t I think they're definitely more advanced um, I think is once you've got used to watercolours, these would be better. I don't think in terms of a starter set, I would go for the Derwin Ink Tents. I would go for them later down the line. Um, so, I would definitely say, if you're starting out, get yourself some Kurataki brush pens, which is the top ones here. They're a good one to start out with. The Ganzai Tambies are good. 
Jane Davenport's are good and the Prima tins are good. These liquid ones are absolutely amazing. We've just figured that out today. Shimmers are really good. But the ones that I would not head for so much would be the Artesia pans. Oh, we're going on a test here. Um, oil pa pastels don't, don't, my ones are not water soluble, unfortunately. And the Derwent ink tents, I wouldn't say is a starter set at all. So we've done the same tests on every single one. Oh, really? Yes. It's, if you're looking out for, see, it's funny, isn't it? What we all like and what we all um, are used to but I'd say for a starter set I wouldn't go for the ink tents um, just because it's harder to move if you don't mind that then it's fine but some people need that to move <laughs> where did I just put them oh they're right in front of me okay so we're going to turn our set over they're amazing but they're not nothing here is bad it's just what you're looking for right so I'm going to use some more tape and we're going to go to this side now <laughs> so we're coming over to the next side and we're going to go for neos gelatos cotman's uh paul rubens jane davenport markers mermaid markers right, let's go for that up here um and the collie row fine text so let's do our test so remember, we're doing true colour. We're doing movability on pure colour when it waters down. We're doing it how it mixes and we're doing how the, the pencils go over. So they're, they're the... Uh... <sighs> yes, there's more. <laughs> okay. So, are we ready? Are we ready? I need some clean water again, guys. <gasps> we're ready. Okay, bear with me. Let me just clean my water. I won't put you on another screen. I'm just going to clean my water. We know what the pencils are like so we might just do the watercolor products right next up next up we have neos now you can get them in the big set so i have the big set and i have a couple of the small limited edition sets so we're going to use the limited little small one for now um so if you haven't seen neos these are so versatile i use them mostly on a palette um so we're going to do true color I'm going to do them in greens again just because it's uh, you know it's a lot easier to see <laughs> okay so this is what a neo color 2 looks like they look like crayons Andrew calls them crayons um, but they are so much more than that so we have true color is like leaving it like that and they do look like baby crowns on your pages so they're not made for that they're not made to look like that no 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 so again i'm going to do those two here and i'm going to move them so we're just going to go like that so they're really really good really good really good all right so as you can see it's just like bam comes to life now I'm just going to do this first and then we will add some more pigment down. So I'm just going to add some down. Then what I do if you need some more is just I grab it off the actual Neo. I use these off a palette better. Now if you want my tip I'd use it off a palette or straight from the nib tip um, and then I you know, mix them outwards. I prefer to use them straight off of a palette then straight from the paper and you'll see why because you get that one big clump and that you have to scrub a little bit more and I'll show you the difference on working on a palette it's just it's like night and day um, so if you're asking me would I use them straight 
I don't like using them straight. Some people do. I don't. I like to and prefer to use them straight off a palette. Personally, um, I'm just giving you like the examples. So they're amazing, but I prefer to use them straight off. Now this is just the autumn set by the way guys now you're better off with a, a textured board and this is the reason why i prefer to use them off the board because you can mix and not just that you can work better with them so it's also based on how much water you use and i don't use tons on them um, and you'll see what i mean so when you're working straight off a palette you've got much more control look straight away and I find that you've got a much more even lay down straight away so can you see where I laid down the original and you can still slightly see that splodge and if you don't you can so much more control the flow of them and the layering of them and I would always recommend, and they are amazing, using them straight from a palette. And that is straight off the board here. So the control you're going to have is going to be that much more than you would if you were to use them direct. They're just, it's like completely different. You've got control, you've got an easier graduation, and you can also layer up. I just don't like using some people like straight in there on their page yeah I'm just not keen on that oh yeah this is a limited edition set this is the autumn one and I'm just gonna layer up a bit more and show you take care Vin. okay so can you see the difference so if you get a bit more water and you go again you can always keep layering it, it just it's endless possibilities with this one um endless you can just keep going so if you go in again and say you had a bit more on your palette just for instance um you can keep going it's it's endless and i just find the control can you see it's so much better and you've got none of that lay down okay so if you were to blend them together you can mix on your palette as well so you can literally just mix those two together and make one big wash and uh, you'd have like a wash in the background if you wanted to make something muddy and um, you can build up it's entirely up to you it's just so much better <laughs> okay so neos are look at the graduation when you just do them now don't forget this is not what they look like we're just doing a test how they look is how you're using them on your pages Um, sorry just bear with me how they look on your pages how you mix them how you lay them down is exactly how they're going to be okay so let's test the white theory once it's not hot so obviously there is no we use these all the time there's no resistance they're perfect um, white goes over them look you could if you wanted to do white highlights it goes over and so does black so there is no issue with them they they give it a little bit of a tooth and they're just overall amazing beautiful love them so they're a big thumbs up as well so these are just to let you see the colors these were the autumn set um and the, the colors you get in them i've actually got them swatched hold on um so the autumn set is this one here so you get Golden ochre, green ochre, raw, sienna, English red, Indian red, Van Dyke brown, olive black, grayish black, moss green, and chestnut. Uh, so they're the, the uh, you've got a pastel set as well. Oops, which is that one. And they are, hold on. Yeah. Is that that one? No, I don't know. Are they those? Bear with me. Okay, so that's these ones. And I actually haven't used these ones. 
So they're the additional sets to the big set. I use the big set the most. Um, so yeah, they are autumn and autumn and pastels. So neos are great. I use my big set and uh, the autumn set the most. Okay, gelatos. They are brand new to me. I have not got gelatos up until now they are brand new i've just got them and uh, i've just sorted out my little tin tub uh, and i've got them in here so what i've done just to show you i've got my little watercolor palette thank you heli my little watercolor palette for them uh, to walk them right down and i've put them in here i've got blending brushes stencil brushes the brushes that they come with and the blending brushes so I've put them in their own individual one and this is going to be on my next, in, in my haul video, which as I said, I should film, if I don't film tonight, I'll film in the morning. Depends on how my back feels because it's getting a long time. Okay, so I'm going to pick up an iridescent. Um, I'm going to pick up an iced pear, which is, I think, a normal. As I said, these are brand new to me. And I'm going to pick up a metallic, yeah, metallic mint. So I'm going to go for those three. So if you've not seen these, um, these are, uh, these are like chapsticks, and they are like they really are like makeup. Um, so they come out quite far. You get a fair amount for your for your money. So they're about that length when you have them all the way out. And they come in this tiny little metal ca uh, plastic casing, which is really handy if you're on the go. Oh, that's okay. I keep standing up. Thank you, Alison. <laughs> okay, so true colour is quite... Um, they are... Oh, I'm just going to rub that bit in with my finger. They are stunning. And that's a metallic one. Um, we have an iced pear, so the true colour, you know, you can use them as true colour, but they are made to be mixed. That's iced pear. I'm going to see how durable they are in terms of with water and how they, how they mix. And that's another one. So they're the true colours, right? <laughs> so that is how they look without anything. Now, do they work? when you put direct and try and move. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna see if they move with water. And I'm gonna grab my water brush with this. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, I know, I go very slowly. Do they move straight on the paper? And the answer is yes. And they move pretty well. Uh, so they, whoa, way too much water came out of my brush then. This is why, with this sort of thing, I don't like doing too much with uh, water brushes. I prefer to do it on my own. Um, they move straight off. They do move straight off. So let me get this one as well. So let's use a metallic. And I'm going to try that one. So I'm going to get my water brush again. I'm going to see if that one moves really. Yep, yeah, they move. No problem. You don't need to scrub too much and they, they do move. So that's a big plus. That's a big plus. Um, do they mix really well? So let's go for, let's go for this one and this one. Okay, so do they mix well? So I'm gonna put a line of that one and I'm gonna put a line of this one. Let's see how the mixability is. So like how they're gonna mix. Mixability, I don't think it's a word, but we're, we're making it up as we go along. Okay, so do they mix really well or do we have to really work at them? No, they mix pretty well. Okay, so there's another plus sign. So these are pretty good for water media. Um, no problem. I'm not doing any like great presentations here. I'm just seeing how they perform and what we can do with them. So you know your options. So... They, they move straight off the paper. They move as a pair, like blend. Now, what's it like coming in straight off the palette? Let's see how much they like blend outwards in a palette. So let me go to the palette and let's do it straight from there. 
Now, there's not much pigment coming off that when I do it from there, so I might have to build up on that. So you can see how light that is, and I did put a fair amount down. Um, so I think we would have to keep going and going and going with layers. Yeah, well they look like makeup, don't they? So if I went and got a bit more of that. I think I have to dry and go again. But if I dab a bit more in, they work really well. So they're a big thumbs up. So if you've got gelatos that you can buy in singles and smaller packs of, they work really well. Now, we've got to test the white and black. So let's dry that. Do you want me to use my finger to blend? What, a dry one? Do you want me to blend with, a, with the dry, Kenny? Do you want me to dry? <clears throat> Hold on. So they work both dry and wet, and pencil goes over that fine. Okay, we'll do that. Let's see. Okay, so not on the metallics, but it kind of works. Okay, let's try what Kenny just said. So I'm going to put that down and blend that outwards. So with my finger... I'm going to get friction. <laughs> but that blends out with... I also bought the stencil brushes. Let's try that. Okay, so they do work. <laughs> they work pretty well. There's oil in my finger though. Will that, will that work? So you can blend my fingers then. Um, okay. I need to play with these because the other set came in this is just a stencil brush you actually your finger works um your finger works quite well so if i did that with a lighter color that probably would look a bit more effective a makeup sponge yeah i've got some sponges and i've got the blending sponges so i've got a bit more play time to do but um i have got blending sponge and yeah i'm gonna have a go with them don't worry but we're seeing about the the water solute soluble side of it so there are thumbs up the white doesn't really want to go over um but we're not really using it for that other than that pencil does actually feel okay over it so you can color over them you would be able to color over them and they blend out as well okay next up so they're a big thumbs up as well so so far we've only got two that didn't want to react with pencils really well but apart from that everything else has so we're not we're not bad we're on a good path okay next up one of my personal favorites and to this day will remain one of my favorites is the uh, Winsor & Newton Cotman's and these are amazing if you want a set that covers all bases this is and you get two Chinese whites which always makes me so happy because Chinese whites are so needed. And you'll see what I mean when you paint. Oops, that came out then. Um, so, what I did is I put all my little stickers at the bottom of them. So I know where they are. Alright, they might have moved a little bit. But apart from that, it doesn't matter. Um, and these are amazing. So if you've not seen the paintings I've done with this, it's on my Instagram. And they are pretty much an all-rounder. Um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna show you that now. So again, you don't really need to spray these. They pretty much activate straight away. I will spray them though because it speeds it up. But um, yeah, they're just amazing. Okay, so the Winsor and Newton, Newton and Cotman's are such a versatile uh, paint, and they look like artist grade paints to me but they just work like magic and they're so good with mixing they're so good with everything i love them they're brilliant and if i was to say you want to start off with a watercolor set i would point you in this direction okay so that's a true color it's wet in your screens um but it's a true color so if you wasn't to water them down so much and the good thing with these, you can buy the tubes of them to refill your paints, which is perfect. So you can buy the tubes, 
and you can buy everything else um, to do with these to refill. Okay, so we're going to do a little graduation. So I'm just going to put some down. And again, look, they just uh, they just blend out really well. So they've got no problem. These paints are just perfect. So they uh, they're just yeah, I love them. I've always loved these. They're kind of just my all rounder. And as I said, when I've done paintings, these are what I've used and what I've learnt with. Um, there's just everything in them. They're just one of those all rounders for me. And if you want a set, I'd say get these if you're going to get an all rounder. So I'm only just doing a faint amount of colour there. It's because if I go in, you can mix up. So they mix well, they blend out well. And um, I, as I said, I learnt how to paint with these. So I have got one of my paintings, but the rest of them. Yeah, the tubes are available if you need to refill these ones, uh, which is great. So I'll go for, oops, sorry, that was me, look. They're just doing it all round, they really are. Okay, let me just, I'll do a blend and then, take care Nisi. I think I'll skip the pencils for today and just do all the watercolour products um, except pencils just because um, of the length of time it might take. Okay, so I'll go for I'll go for the um, it's like a moss green and. I'm going to blend that out into a nice lighter green, which I'm going to mix up on the side here with a little bit of white. So Chinese white, you get two of them, which is perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that out into that colour, which is like a bit of a dulled down version. It's got white in it. And they just seem to work really well. Um, if you needed to fade out, if you need to do anything. Oh, I, they're both. I haven't got the white knights because I've got the cotmans. Uh, the cotmans I just learned how to do stuff with. And as I said, once you layer up, you have to let things dry though, because if you go in full like, you know, steam ahead, it's it's just gonna. It's going to break your page, your things are going to muddy out, but if you dry in between, you should be fine. But yeah, they are perfect, they blend perfectly, they do everything together. Okay, so then <clears throat> let's try our. I know that these work fine because um, I've done it. You know, these are my main one. The white goes over. There is no... Pencil goes over perfectly. There's no... All different types. So oil and... Let me show you. Oil and um, wax. White always shows up. So if you did need to go over that, you could do. Perfect. All rounder. Love them. They would be my main one that I would say go to. Okay. Next time we've got the Paul Rubin. But they're the large pan. So they're like, let me show you the uh, colour chart. So this is the Paul Rubens chart. Um, these are 48 set and you get, again, they're very much like the Cotman's. You get a good amount of each colour group in them and you get a titanium white which always helps. Um, so they look like this. They look like your little tin that you've got and these are another one that I've used quite often these and the Cotman's so I know they're very much like the Cotman's and they also perform like them as well nice bright vivid colours and no problem so again I'm just going to pick my greens 
they're nice and bright you can tell just nice pure bright bold vivid colors I'm gonna go for a really big spring green like that they feel like they're more you know like if you were to put acrylic down they are more like that in terms of um, how much pigment there is oops they're beautiful okay so you only need a touch to just as I said a tiny amount you need a touch and it just seems to go a long way it that is how I put it on the edge and it will just flow right out you only need a tiny amount um, same with this look teeny tiny and it literally goes a long way and they're so easy to move they're so easy to do stuff with they're just easy uh, so I'm just gonna dry that off a bit I'm trying to be quick now guys it's getting near the end and uh, I don't want to drag on too much but they only need a tiny amount it is quite wet so sorry I used quite a lot of water on that one alright let's mix in on that uh, let's mix in a little bit more of like an even brighter green they are super bright and they move again so if you needed to move that again look it does move um, it does come out you just might need to reactivate it again but it does move a little bit let me just see if that moves yep 100% you just need to work with it but it does it does it does move um, so they they mix really well there's no problem with them I need to dry that now <laughs> sorry about the noise so that is the Paul Rubens you only need a little bit it goes a long way okay then we're going to use the uh, pencil over in which I know is fine it just needs to not be so hot ah oh, take care thanks for joining Lou okay so white does go over, it just, uh, there you go, it needs to go on a darker one. So it won't look as, as vivid on that one. And there is no problem with lay down of pencil. There's It gives it a little bit more tooth. Absolutely fine, pure colour, comes out great. Waters down really well, they're another big uh, plus. So it is the um, 48 set and that is the colours that you get within them. And now we're going to go to the glittery ones. Are you ready for the glitter ones? Because they are different so that is uh, the main set and now we have the glitter set and then we've got color and that is all my watercolor supplies okay so these are a glitter tin um, they look like this some of them I haven't used at all some of them I have again I only need a little bit and the thing is with these I get stuck on what to use them on apart from borders so give me your ideas on what you use your ones on because I use them on borders and a lot of the paintings that I'm learning don't have metallics which I really wish they incorporate them into. Um, a lot of these tutorials that I follow and stuff, you know, when I take the classes, they don't have any with any metallics. They're pretty much just like learning landscapes and animals and none of them have metallics, none. Okay, so they're really highly glittered but you, again, you need quite a large amount on your brush um, for you know the the amount to really show up. Yeah, I think with watercolors, you really only need one set. I know I'm over the top. That's just me. Uh, it is my hobby, and I'm in this for life, and I am learning. <laughs> You know, it's it's taken colouring to make me step into art. So that's only a good thing. But um I like having the choice, there's no harm in it. You know, if anyone makes you feel good about having it, then they're not friends. <laughs> uh, it's no harm in having things. This is your vice, this is your hobby, this is your passion. Um so these are really nice and bright, so you'll see them in a minute. Yeah, mermaids and wings. But when I do when I do the paintings, none of them use them. <laughs> okay. So 
so they are highly glittered and I'll show you what I mean in a second yeah that's what I'm I mainly use stuff for accents which doesn't use a lot it only uses a bit okay so I'd like to do I'd love it if teachers did more with this type of thing okay so I'm just going to lift these a second can you see the shine on them they're highly shiny highly shiny now you know they're going to fade out really well because they need more pigment anyway so we don't have to do that test whoops they're going to fade out into um, a small you know a small amount so what I want to do is see how they look when they mix um, from one to the next because we need to learn more about these rather than just you know we all use them for accents and not not for much else so I just want to see how they mix because I'm curious so would they mix well how would they mix I'm going to put a decent amount of water down to see if they run into each other do you know what I mean so I think these, like you say, they're more accents than anything else. I just want to have a play. So definitely not so... I want to use these for watercolour in a picture. Like you say, more accents than anything else. Or if you were going to do like a border or some wings or something like that. But they are beautiful. They're just... I wish there was more stuff that used them um, out there in terms of in paintings and in tutorials so let's dry that off they mix fine they fade out fine um we should do two pinks really but i think if you're going to put any other color on top of that that's just going to take away the metallic so i don't really want to do that i think what i'll do is keep the true color and just test if you did need to put a white on there, I would go for Posca. Um, so, let that go because that's hot. Uh, let that sort of go outwards um, into a cooler. Um, so let me try, I'm just curious, I'm so curious, hold on. I'm going to go for this like dark pink here. Um, these have got such a high glitter content that my water is sparkling. I just want to see if I went for a darker pink into a really light pink I think if you did a few layers of these they would come out high um, this is into a lighter pink I think they would work really well I just think that you need a little bit more layers with them so that's a dark pink into a light pink and that would totally work if you were doing like candy I'm just so curious on what that will look like. <laughs> yeah, she's got shiny things. I think you definitely need to look at things like, um, all right, you know, like a Fabiana, Atanasio, Hansen and Gretel. You know, she's got the page of all the sweets in there with where they go to the house with the sweets. That would look really good. See, that is super shiny. Let me show you. Okay. So can you see the shine on them? They are, don't worry about the wet. They are a high high shine high shine um and that is good can you see that they are super stunning however i do think that we need to figure out more to do with them and i'm going to have that challenge on my brain now what to use that we can do more with them because i don't want to not use them they're amazing okay so let's check would a white no i wouldn't want to really put well i don't know yep a white does go over it but I wouldn't really want to put white on there I'm just curious on how pencils do lay over the top but you're going to take out the glitter content so I wouldn't I would leave them pure they're one I would not bother with I would just do them as they are I would not go over with anything I think they're perfect as they are I don't think they need anything else okay last but not I oh know mermaid markers I'm going to do these first because I use my Colero fine tech gold more than anything so with these you have to allow them to have 
two minutes of water. So in the meantime, whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to grab two Jane Davenport markers, three actually, and I'm going to show you how pigmented these are. These go through your page. So if you're using these in a colour book, I probably wouldn't uh, unless it's single sided. These are ridiculously, it, they're, what you'll see in a minute. I just have to, I'm so scared on squeezing these down because they sometimes like just flow and uh, yeah, I can't get them up. Okay. So this is Jane Davenport Mermaid Markers, and as I said, these are, the ladies will tell you who's got them, they are one of the highest pigmented thing I've ever used. They, well, they just leak. Um, look how, that's just, I've barely touched the paper, and that's how pigmented they are. They are so pigmented. Now, if I come down here with that green that I just had a minute ago and I want to move that, how easy does it move? It moves perfectly. Now, let's mix. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of this one down and I'm going to put a tiny bit of that one there. So not quite there, side by side. And I'm going to come outwards into one to the other and they mix pretty good so they're like a bluey turquoise siren and seaweed and um, they mix out really well there's no problem with them if I wanted to keep going in what about if I put a little bit of turquoise in there let's dot a little bit in just a dot how would that then go Ooh, but these do seep through really bad uh, so the more you put down the more they go through they really do go through the page um so these are super pigmented and i would store these upright they leak like no one's business so that's two i've put a green and a blue together so that's how it fades out and that's how it's mixed that's a blue i don't know if you can see that Let's take my page up I might as well now there's a turquoise and a green together on that one um, now if you took that off the palette let's do the turquoise off the palette let's see that so I'm going to wash that down and that can go as a nice wash if you wanted it to and that would be still quite pigmented um, hold on, let's let's take you outwards. There we go. Um, so they're still pigmented, and if you wanted to go in again, you could bring a little bit more in. And yeah, these are the mermaid markers. So they work really well. And that's pure colour. That's faded, that's too mixed, and that's just a wash. Um, again, if you wanted to dot in a little bit more of another colour, uh, I'm pretty sure that you could. Let's have a go. You could mix the blue greens together because it's watercolour and it moves. Um, but yes, they work really well. Okay, and last but not least, in terms of uh, the fine text, now we all seen these, I'm sure, and these are a very highly shined calligraphy watercolour paint originally and I use these for accents the most just because of look at that shine they are amazing now I'm trying to do the true colour I'm going to try and do the true colour now without too much water I've, I've barely got any water on my brush I'm trying to do it as dry as possible so you can get more of a true colour like that that's sort of how they look. Now, can you fade these out? And how will it fade out? So I'll do that with a, a nice, um, like a, a wine red. Let's get a decent amount on our brush. And let's see how that looks when it fades out. Now don't forget they are metallic. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. It keeps, let's see how that fades out. And if it's got a nice effect as it fades out. 
I'd say they're better as a true colour, but you can fade it out. And again, don't forget, you can layer up. You don't have to go one round. You can go two rounds, three rounds, four, as many as you like, as long as you dry your paper in between. Um, but I'd say that they look much better as a true colour. What do you think? I'd say so. You can get, again, wait, that can dry and you can go in. Um, so this is just more of like a, you get a, a sort of a look at, at certain products that you might have looked at. You might have a vision now of which one you want the most. Um, okay, so then I think I'll do a blue green. So I'm going to go for a mix. So I'm going to go for this like blue. And I'll go for the green and see how they look together. And see if that's something that I would do. And how they maybe look together. Let's go for more of the blue. Mm, I don't know. I think maybe I probably would stick to the one. But you can. There's no reason why you can't. Uh, I'd stick to the one. Just because... Uh, it's easier. You dry it off, don't forget. Dry it off first and then go again. So if I dry that off, I'll have a bit of a truer colour than that. Ah, oh, that's okay, Emma. Take care. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Okay, so I'm just going to get more water in on my uh, blue. Because, um, yeah, it's it's got to be more of a true colour. See, with these, you are much better off with accents. So I'd say, and calligraphy. So if you're into brush lettering, and you have a dip pen, I'd say no on mixing as much. I don't like the mix. Uh, yeah, they're more of a watercolour ink. Um, they don't really mix as well. You can, but... Me -me. I would definitely use them as a true colour or slightly, if you're going to, like, say you're doing, um, okay, we're going to say you're doing an S and you're using your gold, uh, so you've used your gold to do the start of it, I'm just giving you an example here, and then you've got your uh, orange and you're coming down into an orange when you do that, you can do that more and then back into gold. Um, so you could sort of do that as rather than mixing. So I would do it more if you're going to do like a line and you want to continue like on that line with some next one and then you want to go back into another one. I would do it that way. I wouldn't do it that. I don't like that. I don't think it looks good and I don't think it's going to look good in your books. Um, so I would say no. One colour, next colour, back into the original, yes. True colour, these two more, these two not so much. Um, okay, so just to see. How bizarre is that? You have the shiniest paint in the world and you have the pencil goes over the, over the best than anything else in the world. Look. <laughs> so that is so bizarre. I fall out of all of them. Let me come up. Um, I thought out of all of them, that would resist the most. And it's it's not. Okay, so, let me just dry that off. Bear with me. I'll tell you my recommendations out of them all. The Colero is definitely for the shiny factor. I would say, I would have thought that resisted, wouldn't you? So funny. Okay. Come on, dry, dry, dry. Dry for me. Okay, that will be fine. So I can't do the, the pencils today. We can do them another day. Right, so if you're looking at... Oh, if you're looking at what to start out with, or what ones I would say is great, uh, if you haven't got the ones Windsor and Newton... Cotman's, I would say those. Now, the liquid watercolours, if you want pigment, I'm going to say are great. So they are your, um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you my top, top recommendations. So, 
Neo Colors. The Jane Davenport. I love the result of these. Now it's going to make me get stuck in with them. The Windsor and Newton Cotman's is my other one that I would say as a definite. The Colero for accents are amazing. And I would also say a big like shock, I love them all, but the other shocker that you're probably thinking, oh, is she really going to put that in there is these ones because they're very much like the um, Jane Davenport. Now these are amazing. If you also want pigment, the Mermaid Jane Davenport markers are brilliant. However, be careful of them. They do go through on the page. Um, I don't, you can't, you won't on this, but in your regular colour books, trust me, they go through. And if you use them direct and you use them too much, they go right on through. So the Paul Rubin Metallics, I'm going to say for shine, for definite. I don't know if you can see the shine on them. And same with the Collieros. Now, if you want a bit of a better look at some, you know, Collero paints, um, these are some that you can buy. Um, they are so beautiful. And they are pure colour, those ones. The gelatos, I am so happy with. And I'm, I didn't realise how easy they would move on the page. So that is a big plus. And I need to learn how to blend with them as well. Without water. Because with water, they seem to be so easy. So overall they're all brilliant uh, the only one that i was like not sure about and they aren't water soluble is my oil pen tail pastels and the only other one that i'm like meh is the artesia pans they don't have a white you can't really go over them with pencil without there's a slight wax uh, coating on them the one i'm most surprised at are the liquid pebibo watercolors the Cosmic Shimmers are, again, amazing. So I would say all of them, the only two that I wouldn't really, you know, recommend uh, is the Artesia Pans. And for beginners, I wouldn't even say the Derwent Ink Tents, just me personally, because they don't move. And if you're learning to, to do stuff, they're the hardest to move. They're the hardest. You can't move them. They're, they're stuck on your page. Um, for mixing, Colorado Fine Tech is a no-no for me. Uh, I've, everything else has mixed pretty well haven't they so I would say they were the only ones that didn't mix well but yeah that's all your that's all your products the thing I've got today and I'm going to unbox them in my video is my gouache paints um, they came today and I bought a gouache book to do a little few things in there but I love them all and I say that with a full heart because people ask me what's my favourite and I'm like everything that I have is for a reason I love to dig in and dive into stuff even if it's far and few between last year I didn't have any inspiration because of the pandemic I think a lot of us were in the same boat um, I didn't want to do anything I was very uninspired I didn't have the drive it was very hard to even get with my normal stuff let alone anything else but there are so many options guys honestly just play we aren't going to be perfect that's not the ho that's not the point the point isn't perfect the point is fun that's why you took the hobby up you took the hobby up to have fun and uh there's no competition either again if you've joined us a bit later sorry i was just off then uh, if you joined us a bit later you can join us in a body color over on instagram which is this one the birds of paradise page I might do some watercolours on my uh, leaves because I... Oh, leaves, leaves, leaves. Um, and it's in the Symphony of Cute Animals. Um, oh, do you want to see the dual metallic hybrid, uh, the new colours? Do you want to see the new colours? Um, very quickly before I go. Do you want to see new colours? They'll be in my haul. But yes, don't don't get caught up in perfection because it's, it's nonsense. We're not, we're not supposed to be perfect. We weren't made to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we were made to just have fun um okay let's get these out okay so the colors i bought are the brand new colors and i also bought a couple more of the derwent light fast so these are the, i'm gonna move these guys is that right um 
You want to see the new colours? Yes, it is. I'm so like over trying to. Yeah, I just I just want to enjoy it. I think sometimes we get caught up in what it should look like. It shouldn't look like anything. It should look like what we want it to. No, what colour's loose? Okay, so this is what I got out of the Colt pens that came today. Um, so I bought the new shades of the Pentel Hybrids. These are the best pens. Um, oh, you're going to love my haul. <laughs> you're going to love it. This stuff, like, it's been a long time, you know. And these are the Derwent Lightfast, and I bought another... One, two, three, four, five, six to go in there. So I'll show you. But let me show you these colours. I have to show you the colours because they're stunning. All right. So this one is... Um, light violet into metallic red and blue i have to show you the shine on these you'll you wait for the shine it's like cosmic shimmer um let me see if i can get it on there hold on hold on they've got like this ridiculous shine i don't know if i can get it is the camera going to do it any justice i have to bring my light down there you go okay can you see the shimmer they have the most ridiculous shimmer on them oh there you go i think it's going to catch it they're like so so glittery okay i'll do all of them and i'll show you oh they're amazing kenny um right hold on hold on guys okay so that one is i'll do them in order light violet into metallic red and blue and it really does have that uh this one is the shine on these are crazy this one is um turquoise green into metallic red and green uh this one i'll tell you in a second it's like disco ball i only hope that i can get the color i'm going to shine a light on it for you this one is silver into metallic copper and green these are crazy they're the only like gel pens apart from jelly rolls that have got a speciality about them i'm gonna have to put the torch on them or something uh this these are from colt pens in the singles i didn't buy the set because these are the new colors uh this one is the blue gray into metallic blue and silver and this one is light pink into metallic green and gold let me just show you the shine on these and if I can get the shine I will okay so these are how they come out they are so highly glittered if only I could get the perfect amount of glitter on there for you to be able to see them in like true form they just shine like no other gel pen can you see that they're just beautiful yeah, I'll put links within the next 24 hours. But can you see all that? What do you want links for exactly? Yeah, Pentel Dual Hybrids. I'll put the link for these uh, Colt pens, these ones were. And I'll list the colours that I just bought. But they're so shiny. So shiny. So they are the brand new colours. So there was... It's um, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven new colours and they are the new ones out from the other set that was around they're so shiny they're so shiny and then on the light fast i was just trying to get i've been buying singles of um up to the whoops 100 so you can see them as well uh, so every now and then this again colt pens do three for two i tend to buy them when they're on offer uh, so you don't have to have the pressure of buying it all you know in one go you do them as and when you can. So I bought another six. They were three for two. So you bought four and got two free. Uh, gold. And that's what to do, guys. You don't have to buy everything all in one go. Don't forget, I've been doing this hobby like nearly six years now. Things accumulate. I don't have a studio, by the way. Like, people have studio. I have my stuff in two carts and a couple of drawers. So look at it that way. <laughs> look at it that way my stuff will fit in two rolling carts and uh, it looks a lot when i'm showing because that's you know it's all in one go but um my studio consists of two oops and 
and then we have peri.yellow if you lost connection with me for a second it's just OVS it lost the connection okay and they are the last of those so all I've got to get now is um, ocean blue pacific blue green earth mountain green and that's it I've got the set so I've just been it, yeah it's just a bit of buffering um, so that's so far what I've got. I've only got to buy one, two, three. No, one, two. I've only got to buy three more. I didn't realise. So I've just been sort of picking up here and there, and that's what to do. You know, pick it. Just pick up here and there when you can. So they are the dual metallics, and they are the light fast. So it's in, it's honestly, yeah. A car is my. That's my studio. A car is my studio. And just go to the space that you've got. If you've got carts and you haven't got a studio and you haven't got the room for a studio, just fit what you can in your carts. There's no, um, there is no pressure on it. Um, I think quite, Kenny knows. The light fast, are they wax? I think they're wax. I think so. But anyway, surprise of the day was this one. <laughs> but if you, uh, if you, wanted to see some of them and you got to see some of them i'm happy that you managed to but i'm going to call it a stream there because i've been on two and a half hours and i am so, oh so sore now <laughs> oil that oil thank you so much i never know with them because they're brand new to me they're oil based and they are blooming amazing thank you <laughs> someone in chat will always know wow no way the gel pens jumped no cult pens do them but thank you so much my loves i will film a haul probably now tomorrow morning i'm just gonna have to lay um but i hope you saw something you liked i hope that you saw something that maybe you hadn't known about or maybe that took your interest and you're a little bit more like oh i would like to try them give me 24 hours for links and um, I'll see you in my next stream on Tuesday, which will be with our Serenity Girl. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, my loves. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. See you Tuesday. Take care. Bye. Ah, oh, Candice, you did not have to do that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye for now. See you Tuesday. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.